Welcome to Jesus is Lord. We encourage you to stand on God's word through all circumstances. Remember, things only work together for our good when we fellowship with Jesus daily. I want you to go over there and visit, but if you go in, I'm going to tell you what, they're going to make you feel good when you walk in the door. Amen. And that type of people, they'll radiate the love and beauty of God for you and his wife, Phyllis. And, and they're just wonderful people. And Kay, I would tell you a little, is it all right if I tell a little joke on Kay? <laughs> yeah, <I'll tell> you. <laughs> I had never figured out why Larry didn't want Kay to sing at church. <laughs> it take you long to catch on, did it? Just one book. All it took. Listen. Or guess or something other than singing. <laughs> Boy, I'm going to turn it over to you and let God lead you in the way that you want to go and do what He wants you to do. And just feel free. You're free now. God's going to let you want what you want to minister to. It. And I want you to open yourself up to let the Holy Spirit speak to you. Amen. Okay, I'm going to cut this one off. And you got that one on? Yeah. So, so you're ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready to go. Hallelujah. Amen. I brought uh, two things with me this morning, other than that. One is this little salt shaker right here. <clears throat> My pastor is preaching on a series of You Are the Salt of the Earth Amen. in Matthew 5. And we are supposed to be the salt of the earth. I brought that. And also I brought something that I got from my sister that <clears throat> come from my mother. Lord, name of Tim County Miles is on this little jug right here. Amen. But when you open it up, you don't have to get very close to it and know that it's annoying. No, I ain't no telling how many times my mother just took her finger and rubbed across the top of that and anointed somebody. Amen. But when I get through speaking, I want to take this old wool out top off of here. And put my finger on it. Praise God. And anoint. Oh, Anybody that wants to be anointed. Yes. Amen. Yes. I can't come up here and speak without mentioning my mother. Amen. Those that were fortunate enough to know her. Amen. She wasn't a highly educated woman. She didn't go to college. But what she got, she got from God. Yes. And that was the knowledge about what's in this book right here. Yes. And God led her in this book. Amen. Just like it's leading me now. Amen. I was fortunate enough to have a mother that taught me some things. One being, get in your prayer closet. Get on your knees and seek Him. And it's not the shouting and the screaming and the hollering and the running that's going to get you through the bad times. You're going to feel good when you get finished. But when the devil comes against you the next day or the next day, what's in this book right here? That's what's going to get you through it. When Jesus was being tempted by the devil, what did he say? For it is written. About it. Isn't that what he said? For it is written. Amen. I've only begun to scratch the surface what's in this book. But Lord, what I have found. <laughs> <laughs> Glory to his name. God was preparing me years ago. Yes. This is similar to what I use on the firing range when I'm calling the firing order set. This piece is on this side. So I'm familiar with it. But God was setting my feet upon the rock before I even knew anything about it. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Praise God. He kept his hand on me. Yes. 
I didn't deserve it. But I had a mama that prayed and fasted for her child. Monday this week, God brought it back to my memory. The Holy Ghost will bring it back to your memory. Yes, it will. And that was some words my mother said to me years ago. She said, Wallace Jr., you're going to do what the Lord called you to do. <laughs> she said the gifts in your life are without repentance Amen. after Pastor David called me and we spoke he called me to check on my sister and he asked me to come speak I said Pastor David I said let me pray about that and he said I wouldn't have it any other way so as I was praying to God and I was thinking what in the world can I say to a room full of folks that has served the Lord so much longer than I have God said encourage 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 Amen. Amen. we all need encouraging from time to time don't we Amen. Amen. I spent travel hours trying to put things together but you know what? That's what I put together. The brother said this morning, right now the Lord's talking, they're probably talking to him right now about change and what he want to talk about. So I got my tablet up here, my Bible up here, my notes up here. I don't need none of that. <laughs> Step out on that faith, son. I'll give you what to say. Amen. Amen. Be loving this morning. Amen. Amen. God love him because he's been so good to me. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. He used to walk in my mother's house and it would be like that, that little brook with the water. Amen. Right softly comes down. Amen. And it was so calm and serene in her house. God knows the people that has received the baptism of the Holy Ghost standing in her living room where I received it. Amen. God knows the healings that has gone on. God knows the tears that has soaked that carpet in my mother's living room. It's gone now because the flood got it. But that was a place of refuge many years ago. Amen. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Amen. Whenever my mother... Told you something, so says the Lord. Buddy, you could count on it happening. Yes. She did love the Lord. Amen. Amen. When I was praying this morning, praying for the service, you know, you like to think that you're not going to get up there and stumble over your words or you're going to say something wrong. God said, trust me. Yes, trust me. Amen. I said, okay. <laughs> I spoke a few months ago that I, I sit to live and my wife came. And she said, it was just amazing how much of your mother I saw in you. <laughs> you got up and spoke. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to tell you a story that happened uh, back in, I believe it was February. I was sitting out on the front porch of my house in the swing, and I was swinging with my grandson. Mm -hmm. And God had been talking to my heart and dealing with me about getting right, getting right. Mm -hmm. He had sent me to pray for a young woman that. God, I can't even pray for myself. How can I go pray for somebody that's standing in need? Funny thing about God's got a way of putting two people that need something. Amen. 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 They can bless this one and that one at the same time. Amen. Okay? Amen. Oh, praise Him. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. I was sitting on the front porch with my grandson. Jesse took a shower, gotten dressed. Car comes by, a little gray car. And by the time I got in front of the house, I could see that it had a flat tire. And I'm thinking, mm, somebody started their day off bad. And while I was sitting there, God spoke to me and said, go help them. I didn't hesitate. I got my grandson up, carried him into my wife, and I said, she was out of the shower, I said, watch the uh, creek. I got to go help somebody. So the car pulled off side of the road not too far from my house. I drove up there, parked behind the car, and I asked the uh, ladies, I said, do you need some help? She said, yes. So she had stuff laid out already, and of course the jack handle wasn't the right size for the lug nuts. I said, it's all right, I got a full wet the house. Went back to the house, come back, changed the tire. I said, you wait right here. I'm going to run into town and get you a tire. So I did. I come back and I put the tire on and the woman says, do you need some help? I hate for you to be down there by yourself. I said, <laughs> I'm not by myself. <laughs> Lord, there's angels all around. Yes. <laughs> when I got finished putting her tire on, she says, how much do I owe you? I said, well, you know, it's a funny thing. When I went to town, I told the man that I'm helping somebody out. He didn't charge me nothing for this time. But, I mean, he did, but I told her, no. And she said, no. I know you're not going to take anything for the tire. How much are you going to charge me for putting it on? And I said, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the truth. And I said, God spoke to me. I saw you when you came by. He told me to come and help you. It doesn't matter what it would have cost. I got a credit card. It had to be. God said, do it. Amen. Amen. And guess Amen. what? Amen. Amen. Obedience. Is better than sacrifice. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. After I got finished, there was a, a older lady, a younger lady, and a, her son. And um, I said, "Have you been praying about something that you needed from God?" And the young lady, she says, "Oh yeah." And I said, "Let me pray with you." Her mother had gotten in a car behind her that had pulled up. And by the time we joined their side of the road, that lady and her son and me began to pray. These two ladies jumped out of the car. Boy, so much praying I won't be in the middle of it. <laughs> she said, I've been praying for a financial miracle. So we all stood at their side of the road to ditch having prayer. And I prayed for that woman. And I said, when I went back to my house, I said, Lord, so I know that you heard my prayer and you answered my prayer. Within seven days, let me see that woman again. I had never seen her before in my life. On the seventh day, I was coming home from work. I threw a bag of trash in my truck. And I said, well, because I had to go right by there. I said, well, I'll throw it out on the way home. Then I thought, well, I can wait till tomorrow because I got to go right back by there. When I got right to it, I just whipped right on in there. I got out of the truck, threw the trash in the dumpster. And I turned and was headed back towards my truck. And I heard a little voice. Hey, you remember me? And I turned and I looked and I saw the little boy standing there. And it didn't dawn on me at the time because when I saw him the first time, he had a hat on. When I saw him, I walked over there to the car and I saw the little boy and I looked down at the car and I saw that tire. And I said, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> Praise your name. Praise yes. your name. Yes. <laughs> and I thought that was the end of the story. I thought it, I was blessed because he answered my prayer for that woman. 
couple months ago, me and my wife comes home from church. We drove separate vehicles. I think it's come home from prayer meeting. And she got home before I did. When I got there, got in my house, she said, you got a blessing waiting for you when you get in here. And I thought the dog had messed on the floor. <laughs> There are once while she you got a surprise, but too, too much info there, all right, brother. <laughs> I said, what did it say? And she showed me this card. And it was that woman that I had stopped and helped with the tire. She had sent me a little card and a little gift certificate from the steakhouse. And the card said, you don't know how bad I was in need of what you've done. I was standing in need of prayer. I needed a financial miracle. And she left me a $50 gift card because I took the turn, because I was obedient. In the tears. What a blessing that was. Amen. 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 <laughs> and not long after that, Lord, He's been so good to me. My my wife, she's been after me for, I guess, ever since we've been together to stop smoking. Forty some years I smoked, and I said, Lord. I just cannot serve you this time with a cigarette in my mouth. I cannot pray for somebody. The devil is not going to have that to fight me over. And I started praying. Amen. For deliverance. Because I couldn't do it myself. There's a lot of things we can't do ourselves. I would rather trust in the Lord on my knees than stand on these two feet. Praise the Lord. Amen. And my wife caring and loving about my health, she could say, well, when are you going to quit smoking? When are you going to quit smoking? And I said, well, until somebody comes by that's got that gift of deliverance and puts their hands on me and prays for me, I don't know. But guess what? God let me know something. Ain't nobody got to put their hands on you, son. I'm the one. Hallelujah. I'm the one that brings it to deliverance. When I come. Amen. That Thursday or not, usually we go back to the store and get me four packs of cigarettes on the way home so I can make it through the weekend. God said, don't you do it. Don't you do it. So Friday morning when I got up, and I had six cigarettes left in my pack. And I smoked them, and God said, don't you smoke another one. Now, I know if I put one in my mouth now, it's a sin unto me. Because God has delivered me from a 40-year pack. That's been eight months ago. The devil might have some things to fight me about, but guess what? It's definitely not smoking. Amen. Amen. God's been so good. Amen. He's been so good. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I remember when I was a young boy, I'd go to my grandparents' house. And even before I could read good, my granddaddy had an old picture Bible book, an old time ones. And I, of course, back then, you didn't have a whole lot to play with. We didn't have a lot of money. But my granddaddy would give me that old Bible book, and I'd look at it, and I'd flip through the pages, and I'd see the picture of Samson. Even as a small child, I was in awe about Samson how strong he was. And as I got older and could read and really understand it, I read it a lot. I was so impressed about the strength. 
So when I got in my teenage years, I started lifting weights. And I got big old arms, big old chest, poked out, proud. <laughs> yeah, I'm a bad man. I'm a bad man. <laughs> but it was not. It was worthless. It done absolutely nothing for me. It wasn't long ago. God opened these eyes. Praise God. And this is what he said. Yes, I brought that story to you, son. And it was about strength. You had it wrong all these years. Amen. You had it wrong. It wasn't the physical strength I was talking about, son. It's the spiritual strength that I'm going to give you. Yes. Hallelujah. If you didn't know, on your way to church this morning, I'm sure you know it now, that God's here. Yes, yes, yes. 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 And He wants to do something for everybody sitting in here. There's one scripture I do want to read. I got it up here, but let me see if I can find it. John 14, chapter 12 through 14. I'm sure y'all probably are more familiar with this than I am. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Hallelujah. And greater works these shall he do, because I go unto the Father. And whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do. That the Father may be glorified in the Son. And if you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. That scripture right there has come to life for me today. Hallelujah. 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 God don't want his children suffering. Yeah. Is there going to be dry spells and rust spells? Yes, there is. Yes. But his word. It said heaven and earth will pass away before his word does. Amen. Does anybody Amen. stand on that word right there? Trust in what I just read? Hallelujah. I don't know too many of you personally, but I know if you need something from God, you can yes. get it this morning. Praise God. All you got to do is ask him. Brothers already said that, didn't he? Thank Let you. your petition known be known to God, right? Let it be known. Amen. Amen. I, don't, I don't know if somebody here needs a financial blessing. If somebody needs a renewing in the spirit. Sometimes you kind of get tired. And God's got to refresh you. Sometimes you just, just need to be in His presence and His touch. Amen. So, if you will, those, if you can't stand, I understand. But if you will, stand with me right now, please. And if you will, just... Just lift your hands up.
It's hard for me to understand Why you tell me to climb that mountain When I don't think I can But I'll keep on climbing And I won't ever stop Cause I know that you'll be waiting Lord when I make it to the top I know, I know You'll give me strength to keep on going on I know, I know You'll give me words to keep us singing your songs And I know, I know In you I can put my trust Cause I know that, I know that, I know that You're my Jesus Sometimes I wonder why bother when no one cares And when the darkness overwhelms me, Lord I wonder if you're still there But then a voice so small Like one crying in the wilderness Let's me know my prayer's been answered, Lord Let's me know that I'm still blessed I know, I know You'll give me strength to keep on going on I know I know, you'll give me words to keep us singing your songs And I know, I know, and you I can put my trust Cause I know that, I know that, I know that you're my Jesus I know, I know, you'll give me strength to keep on going on I know, I know, you'll give me words to keep us singing your songs And I know you I can put my trust Cause I know that I know that I know that You're my Jesus Oh I know that I know that I know that You're my Jesus I hope you enjoyed today's program Join us each week at the same time for Jesus is Lord And when near Greenville Stop by the Bread of Life Tabernacle two miles past Welcome Middle School on Highway 11 and join us as we worship the King and enter into His gates with thanksgiving and into His courts with praise. Until next week at the same time, this is Brother Ken Jones asking you, Is Jesus your Lord? The river and the river is moving in me.